All right, welcome back to awesome tutorial videos. I'm your host, Laser. Husker's in VC with me. Say hi, Husker. Say hi, hi Husker. Husker. Hi, Husker. Yep. Everyone hi, say hi, hi, Husker. Leave a comment. Hi, Husker. Anyways, we're going to be showing you how to set up a track as of today, which is August 2023. Um, of course, timing system is subject to change. Commands might change, although I don't think they will, um, etc. But as of right now, this is how you're going to do it. So um, I'm going to be setting up as if I'm setting up a track with a new track submission. This, this is actually a new track submission. So I'm going to be setting up like a new track submission. So it's going to be everything, including start region, checkpoints, grids, pit lane, uh, who's the owner, etc. So um, yeah. So very first thing you're going to want to do is create the track. Um, there's a few cool things you can do um, while creating the track that save you some time. Um, the first thing is standing where you want the T, uh, the spawn to be. So let's say you do TT, then track, um, you're going to spawn here. You're going to spawn wherever you stood, um, which I can show you how to change that in a second. But yeah. And then the second thing is you're going to be wanting to hold whatever item you want to represent, um, in the TT list. So you can see, for instance, pro Keras city Tur circuit is this light blue, uh, concrete block. So if I want the track I'm making to, um, be white concrete in the TT list, then I hold white concrete. So now I'm going to do T creates, and the name of this track is Helvetia Raceway. So I do that, and that's T creates Helvetia Raceway. What the fuck? Eh? Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Helvetia. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. So now if you do slash T, Go all the way over. You can see Helvetia Raceway right there. Um, I didn't make this track, and um, the guy who submitted it also didn't make it. But I don't care. I'm gonna just do whatever. So T set owner, um, Helvetia Raceway, and it's Lyric. Lyric thirteen was the one who submitted it. Um, the they submitted this track from a YouTuber guy, SMP thing thing, and um, that guy hasn't logged on. So we're just gonna name it, um, give it to Lyric. 13. Um, normally, like you said, say that Mr. Green Jeans makes a track, he submits it. Normally, um, like since he's the track creator, you do Mr. Green Jeans instead, uh, or whoever, right? Uh, makes sense, right? So now you go to Sash T. Sash T shows all the tracks, by the way, um, even the ones that aren't open, which is why you can see it here in the seven pages. If you do TT, it's six pages because there's a lot of closed tracks. Uh, anything, any questions so far, Husker? No. All right, sounds good. Um, so yeah, we've done, gone ahead and did blah, blah, blah. Hel now you can test. There you go, TT Helvetia, Helvetia Raceway. Yep. Uh, generally, for the where you're gonna want to stand, you're going to want to stand uh, wherever the best spot is for people to start at. Um, so the basic thing is you want them to have as much run up as possible. If you don't understand boat racing and boat theory, um, this might be a little bit hard for you. Um, but just um, basically. This is just as good as this because this is not real life cars. If this is real life cars, this would be better because you have this much space to also gain speed, but that's not how bias bugs work. So here's really good because it's at the end of the straightaway, so you can get maximum speed into the start finish line. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and go to the start finish line. So um, what I'm going to be paying attention to right now is the um, oink, uh, the boat HUD. Yes, boat HUD. It has the zero 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 meters per second. I'm gonna be checking how many blocks a second I'm going to be going at when I hit the start finish line. That's gonna be important right in a few seconds. That's that was about thirty seven meters per second. I'm just gonna write that in chat, just as my clipboard. Um so yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and save that for later. But now we're gonna go ahead and make the start region. So this track has a pit lane, so you have to be careful about that and um where you put uh the start region for that. Um, I like to make my checkpoints and selections fucking enormous, so I'm going to go ahead and do just that. So we're going to go ahead go ahead, and go at least two blocks down. Um, so like here is fine for position one. Let me go up here. I don't remember what this was. We have to deal with it. And then you go over here, and then you got to go at least like standing on the track. This should be good. And I'm in Cell Poly. Very cool. All right, let's try that again. We're going to go over here, and we're going to go here. About here should be fine. I make mine enormous, and that is totally fine. 
So now you're going to want to, basically what can happen, right? Um, I could use cell poly, um, but that means I have to do four clicks of the ax instead of just two. Um, it's a lot simpler. So I like to use cell cuboid. Um, sometimes I do use cell poly on like diagonals and stuff, but we'll, we'll get into that. Um, but yeah, so basically something that can happen, let's say that I'm driving in the race, right? And for some reason, instead of revenge or something, I miss a checkpoint. When I hit the next one, I'm going to be teleported back to the most recent one the server knows I hit. So, um, where you stand when you make a checkpoint actually matters. Because, um, let's say I, let's say that this is this first checkpoint, or the start region counts as a checkpoint, right? So, let's say there's a checkpoint right here, and this is the one I miss. And then there's a checkpoint right here, but I hit this one. But the gate, time system knows I missed this one. So it's going to teleport me back to here, or to this checkpoint or specifically wherever I'm standing when I make the checkpoint. So whenever you're making these checkpoints, you're going to want to stand where you want people to respawn if they miss a checkpoint. Um, so for right here, this would be good. T set start region and Helvetia raceway. Um, you don't have to do an end region. I don't even know that's a thing. It should be a thing. End region is only for like point to point tracks like Mount Akina where you start at one place and end at another. Like A to B. A to B. B, use end region, but then if you're just doing A to A, aka like a uh, like a lap track, do not use end region. Uh, yeah. Um, so you all you need is start region for lap track, which is the majority, right? Um, going back to the 37 meters per second, um, a newer feature ish implemented a few months ago is something called a lag start and lag end region and that basically is what detects if you um had a laggy start which means that um if you have a laggy start like if your ping goes to shit for a second then it might take you like the server thinks that you started but like like you started like three seconds earlier than than like in, in actuality you started two seconds earlier than the server thinks so you get like a super fast time um so um I don't think I want to go into the specific specifics of how it works, but basically you're going to want um, you're going to want to make it so that they hit the lag start at 0 0.10 seconds and then the lag end at 0 0.20 seconds. Um, and basically how that works is like let's say I'm going 10 blocks a second. Well, that means that um, after 0 0.1 seconds, aka 0 like that, I will have gone one block, right? After 0 0.2 seconds, I will have gone two blocks, right? So if I start right here, after 0 0.2 seconds, I'm right here. Um, basically, we can just do the same thing, but instead of 10 blocks a second, we do 37. So I'm going to round that up to 40. I believe that should be okay to round up. Yeah, rounding up is fine because um, that makes it more generous. If you round down, that makes it um, that makes it more strict, and that means that people are going to get um, stopped for that. starts uh, more frequently. Yeah, so... Um, you're going to want to leave the first few air blocks open. Um, so I know that in 0 0.1 seconds, I'm going to travel 3.7 blocks. You can round that up, or 3.7 blocks. Round that up to 4 blocks. Um, so now we know that this should be air. And then here should be the first region. I think it, I think it was that. No, it, 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 was, it was that. Here's where the first region is going to go. It sounds complicated. I know. Honestly, if you're uncomfortable with this, I'd say just don't do it, but I think it's a pretty good addition. Um, so yeah, you can see now we have a four block wide thing because they will travel 3.7 blocks in 0 0.1 seconds, which is what we want. So we're going to go ahead and do T set lag start Helvetia raceway. And then similarly, we're going to do the exact same thing, but um, one region over. So we're going to go ahead and go down here. And make another four block wide thing. And instead of lag start, we do lag end. Lag end. All right. Now, if you um, here's something useful. T edit and then the name of the track. Here's how you see all the regions. You can also do T, do T regions, name of the track. And that will tell you all the regions. So you can press the thing and it will teleport you to the region. Um, and it'll do this even if you're not in T edit. Also, to stop it, you just do T edit without the track name, and it will remove the particles. Oh uh, yeah, so if you do T edit Helvetia, um, you can see I am I'm standing in it, and well, I mean I'm in the start region, but there's also the lag start, 
and the lag end. So now if we do uh, stash s to do override to the Helvetia Raceway, we're just going to test it real quick. It should tell us in chat what our lag start and lag ends are. It should be about 0.1 and 0.2. Alright, that's fine. Like it, It's not perfect, but it will work. If someone lags more than this amount, then it will stop them and make them restart. So um, that's pretty good. So that's lag um, start and lag end. Yep. Just a heads up, I did not have particles on. So make sure you have particles on so you can see the regions. True, very true. Yeah, I could go yes. to settings because <laughs> I was particles. like, I couldn't see anything you were doing. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> like I mean, if I turn on the T edits, you can't see it. You have to turn it on for yourself. Right. right. Like I, yeah. I was trying to figure out how to do the T edit, and then I was yeah. like, you said it, and then I was like, wait, I still can't see it. Oh yeah, particles. Yeah. That's so important. like, if your particles oh, yeah. are minimal or like if you just have them off, then you can't yeah. see them. So okay. make sure You're that good. they're on. All good. Um. All right, let's uh, remove these fake checkpoint things. Yeah, so now we can start setting up checkpoints. We'll go back to the starting area later to do the grid and the in-pit and pit regions. Um, but yeah, okay, let's go ahead and go forward. Um, how often you want to do the checkpoints is up to preference. Um, the key function of checkpoints um, is to prevent people from skipping the track. Let's say that I'm going Mach 10, right? And there's no wall here. And I'm like, yo, I can just like skip all that and just like slide across here because I'm going Mach 10 I end up like I, I just skip it right um we don't want that to happen so we set up a checkpoint over here so that they can't just skip it and they have to go this way right so um I think here's a good spot for a checkpoint so we're gonna go sell cuboid I think we were still in sell cuboid we're gonna go under the track a little bit position one or what I like to do is slash slash one if you're using fast async world edit I fly over to here slash slash two that's position two and now you can see I have an enormous selection, and um, this prevents anyone from missing a checkpoint, like ever. They'd have to lag for like four seconds straight at that point, like, well, shit. Um, and once again, where you stand when you make this checkpoint matters. It matters a lot. So, like, don't stand in the middle of the ocean over there, or else someone's going to lag and they're going to have a very bad race. <laughs> Don't so, be flying when you do it. Yeah, like, like people, like, fly when they make the checkpoint. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's understandable, <laughs> but, like, like... You know that's not good because especially that they face in the wrong way and the guy spawns yeah. in in the air and starts driving backwards that, that, that's that's funny yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and go right here key set checkpoint and then the name of the track there we go so now if you do key info help that here raceway you see i have one checkpoint and that's one i just made um okay so i've heard different things when it comes to creating checkpoints some people mm -hmm. say you should go like i see the outline now like some people say you should stand here at the beginning of the checkpoint but you did yours inside the checkpoint like is there a reason behind that or just um, preference so like i was talking about earlier um you'll get teleported back to this checkpoint if the game knows you hit it but um you miss the next one so i mean uh -huh. like hypothetically like the best and most optimal thing to do to save people like from grief from missing a checkpoint would be like go, to go to the very front of the next checkpoint so let's say the next checkpoint is going to be right here because like you know they hit that one they don't need to go to that one they just need to go to the like the one they missed right and if the one they missed is right here then you'd ideally want to send them right here but there's like tracks for instance like um with reset regions like uh video game rush tracks where like you can like hit a checkpoint and then jump into a reset region or something and it'll like it'll teleport you forward um so if you're using reset regions you have to be careful about that but we aren't here so um okay that doesn't really so answer the question. So it's kind of personal preference, but like, you don't want to like give an advantage if they fall off. Yeah, on, on a track you can fall off on, definitely don't give an advantage. I'd say like on those tracks, definitely um, set the checkpoint spawn to before the checkpoint. So because um, okay. then like if they hit the checkpoint and then jump off, then like they don't really gain anything out of it compared right. to like. But like on a flat right track now. like this. It you could probably put it at the end, in the middle, wherever you're more comfortable. Yeah. Um, another thing that you really have to pay attention to is um, where you do it. Because if I, if let's say that like everyone goes this route, like this route is like ten times faster, it's super good, but it's also super thin. You're not gonna want to put the respawn right here, because in the off chance someone like lags and like dies, like then you just gonna throw them right in the middle of the line, and they're gonna spawn right in front of someone, right? Yeah. That's so. So basically, you want to be off to the side, is what yeah. you're saying. Off the gotcha. side, like right here is really good. And of course, you want to make sure that you're facing the right direction. If you face them this way, they're going to go this way, and that's backwards. So make sure you're facing the right funny. direction. 
It would be really funny, yes. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. It'd be also really funny to teleport them, or to teleport like a thousand bucks up and just like... <laughs> Let them fall and be like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But so, like, if you're going to be a really ninth good. checkpoint creator, like yes. for a real race, yeah. Gotcha. Um, yep, so we're going to go ahead and make another one right here. Yeah, we can just, yeah, we'll do, we'll use the gold things that they definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right, let me go over to here. And we can notice there is a thing here, and that's fun. So that means you have to pay attention to, you know, for example, um, let me let me make this check mark first, I guess. Um, let's see here. So they go like right here, because no one should be going over here. If they're going over here, they're like dying. Um, anyway, so there you go. That's the second one. Um, something you can do. Doing this just adds a checkpoint. So right now, like beforehand, there was one checkpoint. Doing this added a second one. If I want to change the second one, let's say like I want to make it like a little bit smaller, I can do this, send the race spot, and then do T set checkpoint name track two, and that sets the second checkpoint. Um, Ooh, I just thought of something. Yeah. So like on this track, seeing where you've put the checkpoint, if you uh, if you were to like put yourself here or over there, they could miss this obstacle too. So you kind of have to take into account what the track is designed like as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like, um, yeah, I think you know what you're saying, like, um, if you put the spawn, like, yeah. right here, then they'd have to drive backwards to go to the shortcut, right? Yeah, um, does it thing. matter that things are overlapping, like, the start region overlaps the checkpoint? Yeah, it should be fine. Actually, okay. uh, that was a good point, because, yeah, no, no, you, you, you got, yeah, you got me, true. <laughs> uh, if, if, let's say that we have a noob, um, hypothetically in the race, they're like, oh, no, I'm going so fast. I missed a turn. Oh, shit. Now they're in checkpoint two, and the game is not going to like that, and it's going to teleport them back. So um, I did a bad job with that checkpoint. Thank you for catching that. Um, I'm going to redefine it. So let's redefine it. So <laughs> like, shit, That's how okay. you reset a checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we're going to go right here. I'm outside of the region. That doesn't really matter. It's fine. Uh, so, yep, checkpoint two. And there we go. You could Theoretically, you could do Cell Poly, but those are more glitchy. Uh, it's... Oh, I wouldn't say glitchy. I think they used to be glitchy back at the start of the time yeah. system, but now, now it should be fine. Um, it's just okay. like, this is, you don't have to be super, like, precise with these regions, except for, like, in pit. In pit's a little more precise. Um, yeah. But yeah, like, this should be fine. Okay. And yeah, again, look at how big I'm making this shit. Like, and they're going packed high speed. They're, they're going to be in these checkpoints for like five seconds straight. And that's fine. That's not, that's not harming the server. That's just, that's fine. So. Laser. What is start. the point of a checkpoint? The point of a checkpoint is to drive through it and for the server to be like, okay, he was here. But then if you drive through it and the server is dying and doesn't have the time to realize you were in there, then what's the point of the checkpoint? So we got to make sure the server can always know that you're like in the checkpoint by making them massive. Not like, not like, not like. Not like as big as like a fucking like, like a stadium or like a giant or maybe a grandstand, but like you know not like <laughs> not like it starts a whole plant, but like like you know big enough so for them to be like able to drive in a checkpoint for like multiple seconds. Um, yeah. Yeah. Also, it doesn't it update timing system or something? Yeah. Like I mean, also um, it also like if you look at a scoreboard on the right side of your screen, whenever like you're in a race, um, it displays all the people and like the gaps in between them. Um, hitting a checkpoint, um updates those gaps um nice. so it's like oh yeah now he hit checkpoint two and uh now this guy behind him is 7.3 seconds behind instead of 7.5 or something you know it, it, whatever right that's how like it yeah. calculates um another thing when you're time traveling when you have verbose on or i get no not even verbose i think it's just a default thing now um yeah it'll tell you like if you're ahead like you'll hit checkpoint two and it's like oh you're like you're point three zero point three seconds up on your pb um and it's in green, you know, like that's good. So, um, for time traveling wise, um, you're actually you might want to think. I I don't think it's like a big preference yet, but um, I think there's been discussion about using less uh checkpoints, so um, they don't have to like check their chat like every like every like two seconds or whatever, right? Not two seconds, but like like ten seconds can get annoying or whatever, or like you know, yeah, it, it you can you can use your own judgment on that. Um, I think okay. for like default tracks like track submission tracks or um tracks that are meant for racing you're gonna want a good amount of them because you want you're gonna want a good amount of like scoreboard updates on the side nice you have a question Hester? nope 
Next checkpoint. Just curious yeah. where you want to put it. So, um, in this scenario, you have to be careful not to put the checkpoint just right here. Because if you put it right there, people who take this shortcut are going to miss it, right? So, just yep. um, when you're making tracks, like tracks and split routes, you have to be really careful about just to make sure you don't miss anything. So, uh, we're going to go right here. This seems pretty good. You can see there's no alternate routes. You know, there's no nothing. So, we should be safe to go with this. Uh, yes, I'm going to go position one here. Fly over here, position two. Let's see, is it overlap anywhere? That corner is fine. That corner is fine. All right, sounds good. And we're gonna go do T set checkpoint. Held ready a raceway and the T info. Held ready a raceway. Yeah, that's checkpoint three. Cool. Um, all right. So I don't know this track. Um, apparently there's a shortcut here. That's interesting. Um, oh, okay. Cool. So that means we can't put a checkpoint right here. Uh, but we can put it right when the split routes come back together, so like maybe right here. That should be good. Let's do another one Ooh, right this here. This is going to be an interesting checkpoint. This should be fun. Are you going to make it smaller? No. Or overlap? I, I'm, I'm just okay. going to derp a der. derp a der. Um, so now in this case, it's like where do you set the respawn region? Um, like. I'd say don't do this because it's just so thin. So it's like no matter what, if someone takes this and like someone respawns into this, there's gonna be a collision. It's not gonna be pretty. So like in this case, I think going out wide here should be good because no one should be yeah. like going out here unless like they mess up heavily. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do some checkpoint. And I think that should be it. We can maybe do one more right here. If we really want to. Because I mean, like, there's gonna be another like the, the start region is essentially acts as a checkpoint. Um, it's, it's yeah. a special checkpoint. So like, we don't have like, well, I mean, okay. So the start of the checkpoints right here. So it's gonna update right here. Oh wait, did I? Oh, I messed it up. Oh, oh, I did that one block too low. Oh no, oh no. Uh, T info help. Oh yeah, cause you're right on the thing. Yeah. All right. And Four. I will have a question when you're done with this one. All right, let me, we can do one more right here, I guess. Yeah, what, all right, what's your question? So, obviously it depends on the track. You were mentioning the reset region and falling off. Um, does this track you think need one, or yeah, would no, it depend I, I on the so. owner? Let me make, that's like a good question. Like if they question. fall off this edge here. Yeah, we, we could, yeah, we know. can set one up, sure. T set, checkpoint. Oh, that'd be a raceway. Now we have to think about pain. Pain. Because, <laughs> yeah, if we set one up, then that means I can just like hit the checkpoint and drive off into this water and get respawned over here. So you have to redefine checkpoint four so that I can't abuse that. Um, we also might want to think about having a reset region to catch people who fall down here because this is a soft lock. You can't get back up because this is not a boat utility right. track. Um, so yeah, yeah we can go ahead the and, water. yeah, I think just, we can just make it like a whole track wide or like reset region. So yeah, we can go ahead and do that real quick. I haven't used these okay. too much, so I, but I, th I think it should be okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go one side, I'm going to just TP through it, two, I'm going to make it a few blocks deep just to catch people who fall, like, just to, like, you know. They don't like lag and like go through that one block and the server doesn't recognize it. Uh, this should be fine. I don't think it matters where you stand for a reset region. You can just do it. Um, so I mean, I'll stand like right here, I guess. T set reset region. Uh, what's the name of the track? Helvetia race. Helve Helve Thank you. <laughs> All right. So now if you go here, oh wow, it's telling me reset because I'm in the reset region. Cool. Now we get to go back through all the checkpoints. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> Is this the right height? Yep. Yeah. All right. Now we can do, in this case, you know, we were just talking about how they can drive off and then, like, uh, respawn and get teleported and fro forward. Um, it's safe just to, like, put the respawn like right here so we're gonna do two set checkpoint helvetia raceway four that was the fourth checkpoint yep nice yeah. um so now they would spawn like back here so they can't cheese it 
Uh, let's see here. Nice. And then there's also this one. I think we just set this one like right here, so I think that should be okay. And uh, let's let's, say, let's change this one as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go down to here. We'll just change it to like be like right here. T set checkpoint. T set checkpoint. Helvetia Raceway Five. And there we go. Um, let's double check these other ones. So we're just checking for if they can like go down the block and into the resort region. They can drive over to here and go into the resort region, but I think that's enough of the time loss for it to not help them at all. Um, otherwise, I think we should be good. There is right here, but no, nah, I think we should be fine. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sounds good. Uh, so we should be good on the checkpoints. Um, so now we have to think about uh, grid, the uh, pit lane, so that means pit region and in-pit region. Um, I think that's it. And then, oh yeah, um, also, let's see, if we, yeah, we can save it for later. Yeah, so let's go ahead and work on the in-pit region first. Um, cell poly is always really useful for this, so it's just like, uh, pit regions are or pit lanes are always like weird shapes or like not just like a rectangle or sometimes a rectangle in this case I think a rectangle like a cuboid selection would work but like it's just better practice to use poly because generally like sometimes it just doesn't so I'm gonna go ahead and go one block down and we're just gonna make like a nice old poly selection region um, I don't know what they want to do for the pit boxes so I'm just gonna include it because why not so we're gonna go over here if you don't know what the in-pit region does, it's what says that the player is inside or in the pit during the race. Uh, if you look at like a VOD of a race or something, you'll see people in the pit. <laughs> Many videos on a laser's channel. True. Subscribe. Yes. Subscribe. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Check out that. my other I videos. I mean, yes. Yes, subscribe. Don't listen to me. She spits facts. <laughs> But yeah, so nice. it doesn't really matter where you stand here. I think it, like where you stand here is where like they're gonna teleport when you see t, t regions, uh, right? So like if you like check on one of these, it'll, like if I check to this, I think yeah, it, it teleports me to wherever I was standing when I made it. Um, so like yeah, so like we're here. You probably don't want to stand in the pit lane. Do the two t set in pit, Helvetia Raceway. Now we are in the in pit region. I did it right, right? No, I'm not in see edit, that's why. Okay. How about your race wave? Did you see edit? It has purple particles, it tells you that you're in the in pit region. Um Alright, and now we go to this. And this is annoying because right now there's no option that's like toggle on pig stops and toggle off pig stops. For this track, there aren't pig stops set up, so we're gonna go ahead and make a pit region. Um but sometimes there's some tracks that are like, does this have pig stops? Does it not have pig stops? I don't know. And it's kind of just annoying. Just do whatever I think of that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, placement actually matters here, right? So if you do T edits, um, Helvetia Raceway. Um, something that drivers can do is they can pit on the last lap. And that basically, um, let's say that I'm racing here, right? And I'm racing against other people. I finish my pit, or like I, I pit and I finish my race in here, like I. It's the last lap, and I need to do one more. So I come in here, and I do my pit, and then finish. Um, let's say that hypothetically there's like off road here that like slows me down, right? Um, that means I skipped it. I didn't even have to go through it because I finished over here. That's why the last lap pits are back. So like if you see, like the whole the pit punish includes the exit, and if you pit on the last lap, then you're um, not doing that um, exit punish section, right? So you need to make sure that whatever you do, they should get the pit after their lap counts. Um, so their lap counts when they hit the green. Um, so you can do the in pit or you can do the pit region right here. Then you're you're probably wondering, well, I mean, like if they enter the both regions at the same time, wouldn't that mean they they would like be able to pit last lap? No, it's because how the timing system prioritizes the start region over a pit region. So it's going to say when a driver walks in here or drives in here. First off, it's going to be like, okay, they started a new lap. And then it's going to say, okay, they pitted. 
So they will not get to do that set of pits. So we can do T set pit region and then Helvetia Raceway. <laughs> I'm lagging. Yeah, we're all getting lag. I'm in a car. <laughs> eh? Sitting in a car. Oh. Beep beep. beep, beep. Anyway. Nice. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Yeah, so that's the pit region. So we've done the end pit region. We've done the pit region. Now we got the grid. Um, you can get, like, different people do this in different ways. Um, I like, I mean, there's two main ways I do it. Either I just eyeball it and do, like, T-set grid. How about I can, like, you know, I do this, and I fly over the next one, do this. Um, this works, but there's sometimes a faster way to do it, depending on the grid. And this is a grid that I've worked on. It's all uniform. You know that each, like, it's consistent, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, ooh. That's a... Oh, he gonna do fancy math things. Yeah, so I mean, like, this really <laughs> helps with, like, things like BCC that has, like, a hundred fucking grid spots. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do size. This might get a little complicated. It might just be easier for you to eyeball it, but I like to do it this way. So I know that it's 6 in the X, 3 in the Z, so I'm gonna subtract the 1. The method. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm gonna subtract <laughs> 1 for me, so I have 5 and 2. 5 and 2. Um, and then we see that you have negative x and positive. I'm looking right here on the uh, F3 screen. So negative x, positive. So I'm going to remember that. Um, I'm going to center myself right where I want to be. Um, let's do 20, I guess. And then, I don't know, like that. And then be like right in the middle. You want to be really precise. Uh, okay, cool. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to TP, I think it was negative 5 and 2. And now, look, I'm at the next one. And then now I look over here, it says positive, so I swap this to the positive one. Wow, I'm at the next one. So if I just keep doing this, wow, that's crazy. So I can just, like hypothetically speaking, do T set grid Helvetica, or Hel Helvetia raceway, and then TP to this one, and then do that and then TP to the other one, and then do it, and then this. I got really good at this. Uh, this so is yeah. called showing off. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm doing T up arrow four times to get a TP, and then up arrow twice. Four, two, four, two, four, <laughs> oh, and I messed up, and that's when it gets bad, because now I have to check, and now that fucks up everything. <laughs> Um, it's better to just do it slowly, um, because I just messed up and I did two things at once, or I, I, uh, I did two grid sets before, um, GPing. So now I have to go back and remember, okay, that's negative, so that's that, and then I do that, and I have to get the other one, and then we go back, and now we're kind of back in it. Now I'm going to go a bit slower. And generally, I like to actually go beyond, um, especially when there's not many grid spots laid out on the track. I just like, I like to add a few more. And by a few, I mean like 30, because I'm unhinged and I need help. But, um, yeah. Like everyone sent help. Or I go until I mess up, <laughs> which is also something I, something like, yeah, I'm still going, by the way. I, I <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. Uh, if you T info, Helvetica, or Helvetica, god damn it. 27 grids, that's fine. That's definitely enough for like a sash race, fun race, right? Someone's like, oh, I want to race at Helvetia. And you know, like they, they're not going to get 27 people. Um, so, so that should be fine. Um, so yeah, now we do T, uh, do CT info. It's not open yet, that's fine. Owner is set. It's time trial, five star points, 77 grids, one reset region, cool. Um, next up, we're going to want to do the leaderboard. So you go TTP Helvetia. This is a nice command. It's basically TT, but you don't spawn in the boat. Uh, so just T track TP. Um, and now you're gonna want to put the leaderboard, this is like the hologram that shows the uh, top of the times, somewhere where when you TT to the track, it's immediately in your like screen, uh, like on your screen, so like, they can see it easily. And it's like right next to the spot. So I'm, like, here's a really good spot. T set, leaderboard, Helvetia. And there you go, TT Helvetia. 
and it's right there. And now if I'm like, if I'm like, yo, I'm people or whatever, okay, I can like look at it and it's like, oh, look at me, screenshot, screenshot, click, click, click. you know, yeah. So yeah, that's a good spot. Um, otherwise, when there's a GUI, we already did that. Uh, I did um, for trash submissions. Didn't want to ask them first off what their in-game name is, so you can set the owner correctly. Uh, like I'd ask they're like, what's your IGN? But I already know it, so I did it. Um, and also, if they have one item in Minecraft to represent the track, what would it be? I spammed this question. I, I had asked that question so many times. But yeah, like, um, you know, this guy gave me a custom head. This guy said, that is block. I just kind of just chose this as if they haven't responded yet. I'm going to change it there. If you want to change it, by the way, do T set GUI. Here, let me just T set GUI Helvetia Raceway. Now when you do slash T, look, it's now this thing. And then you do it again. And look, it's now this thing. Wow, that's crazy. Um, let's see here. User region. I'm gonna pause recording. All right. There's something cool that was recently added, and by recently I mean a couple months ago. Something called a quality grid. A quality grid is a grid that you spawn at whenever you, like you're in qualifying. So for instance, we go to Zambort. We just did Zambort FC uh, 2023. Um, do T edit Zambort 2023. In qualifying, people would spawn right here, and they'd start the maps from right here. This is because if they spawn on the grid over here, their outlap is going to be slow because they don't have the speed going into this map, right? They're going to start right here and be like zero speed. So quality grids are introduced to fix that problem. Um, uh, yeah, so we can actually set those up if you want to. Um, I honestly have not, I haven't really been doing that. Um, in the past, however long, <laughs> like I haven't really been setting this up. But um, if you really want to get extra mile, that's fine. It's basically the same concept. It's like where you put the TT, um, but you just do it in line. So um, generally for like SU one races, we're doing nine quality grids. This is about nine person quality heats. You can kind of just do whatever you want. Uh, I think ten is a good number. So I'm gonna do ahead, go ahead and do ten. Um, yeah, so we can go ahead and do T set quality grid Helvetia. And we go, and we go, and we do the thing, and we're going, and we're going, and at six, seven, eight. You don't have to be super precise with this. It doesn't really matter. No one's ever complained about it. So you get it, how about it? And there they are, and all and, their glory. And until they pass the start finish, the checkpoints don't matter, right? Yeah, yeah. The okay. time is not going to care. Yeah. Good question. Okay. Um. I think that's about it. Like we got the GUI stuff. You have any questions, Oscar? Uh, no. All right. Nope, nope. And if it's trash submission, by the way, like if it's a trash submission for like any staff watching, after you're done, um, oh yeah. First off, T set open. <laughs> T set open true, Helvetia. If you really want to, you'd be like, hey guys, new track just dropped. <laughs> Helvetia Raceway. Go check it out, I guess. Yeah. Or don't do that because you'll chat spam, but like, you, you get the idea. If you really want to, right? Uh, but the main thing is that the people know in trash submissions that you pasted their track in and set up and what the TT is. So like, oh look, Lyric, by the way, I, I set it up. You just do TT Helvetia Raceway. I, I, I put it in the trash submissions thing. And then after that, I changed the tags in the trash submissions thing from work in progress or way import or whatever to imported. Um, Yay! New track! Alright, and then if you do TT, look, it's right there. TC instead of T, so it shows only the open ones, and there you go. There we oh, go, we got a guy. Up. Do it! <laughs> Get a world record! Do it! Yeah! Go! Look at him go! Look how happy he is at the new track that we just set up. And that's gonna do it. Um, hopefully I didn't forget anything. Um, there's probably some track specific things like, um, oh yeah, like for instance, tags, uh, T set tag, um, help, how should you help shiny the cario? Um, yep. how about you erase it? Let's say that I think it's an easy track. I do that. And then if you do TT, look, it has a tag of easy. And if I do TT and sort by easy, look, it's right there. I don't know. I, easy is a bit more, a bit of a, um, like you have to be really careful with it because it's like the easy ones are where the um, newbies go to. So if you th if you think this track is good for newbies, 
um, and like you know, it's a good um, track to like represent the server and whatever. Where like a you know, a track that people won't like look down on me like process sucks. Look how like bad this map is, and they they recommend it. It's, they recommend it for newbies. It's, it's easy tag. Um, Ooh, world record, GG. Um, uh, then maybe don't set t uh, the easy tag, but um, medium and hard are a little more um, uh, fine to like do. Uh, then you know, booty tails, Mario Kart, these have expand themselves. Thin is like the short one block or like three block wide, like terra tracks and those mini tracks. Um, so that's that. Um, for options, um, let's see, T info, double CBA. If you're making a blind attack track, um, let's see here. Let's I think by default you have the plus B. So if you want to do, I, I forget what exactly to do. You're gonna to have to like ask around in the boat labs or um, or more people who like actually know what all the the options do. But R, I believe, like plus R is the uh, uh boat utility thing. So you can do T set options or T options. Um, Hel Helvetia, uh, plus B R, and then you do Helvetia, and then. And then you start cheating, and then <laughs> look at this. Wow, I have boat utils. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. I think it's just minus R. Yes, now it's just B. T info, Helvetia, and now it's still B. So now they can't cheat. Unless that guy got the effect and is cheating. Hey, it should be fine. Um, I think that's about it. Um, but yeah. All right, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Have a good, if you have any questions, ask in the comments or in Discord. You know me, I'm the latest stuff, so the latest stuff in the Discord. Um, and then uh, if there's anything no notable that comes up about changes in timing system or something, I will put it in the description. Um, I think that's gonna do it. Uh, you have anything to add, Husker? Nope, all good. All right, GG. sounds good. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.